You know, they've got, uh, everybody's up in arms about uh, cloning, and a lot of people think, well, no, you shouldn't uh, clone the people because it's, uh, well, they think it's a bad idea. That's one side. Yes. On the other side, you have a group of people who said, no, you should clone people because it's a good idea. But um, the House of Representatives has approved now a ban on human genetic cloning, ah. and it's punishable by jail time and a million-dollar fine. So if you're, if you're cloning at home, be careful. In fact, uh, I was watching CNN uh, earlier today, and they're already uh, cracking down on some of these cloning clinics. They Here, are. Take a look. I saw this on CNN. Watch. Look at this. That's the government crackdown on human cloning. Where there's Okay, that's oh. a, like a technician coming out. Now, look at this. That's another technician. Hey, oh. <laughs> And then, oh, look at this. Uh, wait a minute. They, Hold it. They've really been doing Wow, they, wow. That's the one, you can't be smoking when you're doing cloning. Oh, you shouldn't. They really, <laughs> they're cloning their ass off, weren't they? Well, uh, well, the question is, do you believe in genetic cloning? Do you think it's creepy? Well, you know, the genetic cloning issue has uh, proven to be uh, pretty controversial. And just last week, a scientist in Texas actually cloned a kitty. That's right, a kitty. So. Here now to discuss this historic development is Texas A&M geneticist, Dr. Nicholas Coleman. Dr. Coleman. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Coleman, for being here tonight. Now, uh, how, how do you respond to concerns that genetic cloning is unnatural, especially if science starts to clone human beings? We're aware of the concerns, Dave, but just because we cloned a cat uh -huh. doesn't mean we're going to clone human beings. Well, that's good. That's a load off my mind. Before you leave, Dr. Coleman, would it be possible to meet Kitty? Sure. My assistant's got him backstage. Oh, great. Bring, bring out the Kitty. Scott? Scott is coming out now with the Kitty. little kitty, isn't it? I think maybe you could have eliminated that in the cloning. Uh, well, he's very cute. Thank you very much, doctor. No problem, Dave. Dr. Nicholas Coleman, ladies and gentlemen. Somebody out there, you know how this works. If you got a question about the show or about me or anything, we'll see if we can't help you out. It's called Who Ask Or. What's your name, sir? Stephen Morris. Where are you from, Stephen? Uh, I'm originally from Staten Island. Staten Island. Oh, and uh, what is what is uh, things like on Staten Island? I never spent much time out there. Is it nice, isn't it? It's very nice. It's yeah, all I know about Staten Island, it takes like five hours to get into the city from Staten Island. Is that right? <laughs> it it's it about involves right. a, a train and a tunnel and a helicopter and a ferry, <laughs> and you still may not make it. Uh, what, what can we do for you, uh, Stephen? Uh, well, I have a question about the microphone on your desk. Right. Uh, why do you have that microphone if you also have that microphone up overhead? Oh, I see. Well, that's a good question. I also have one here on my tie. We have one on the desk, <laughs> and we have one up there. It's, it's uh, our redundancy. It's our system. <laughs> it's like belt and suspenders, because if, if one stops, you've got to have an extra. And we, we, we have duplicates of a lot of stuff. Backstage, as a matter of fact, we keep an extra there. That's an extra camera in case we need it. <laughs> and right next to that, we have... Uh, we have an extra guy who looks just like you. So. There he is. Thanks. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for tonight's top ten. I think we got a uh, pretty good list for you tonight. The category, the category, top ten uh, good things about being a twin. Do we have any twins in the audience? Okay, got some twins in the audience. The category, top ten good things about being a twin. Number two. If I ever commit a crime, he's going to jail. <laughs> and here now, the number one good thing about being a twin. I slept, I slept with my brother's wife. <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Our twins, thank you very much, folks. Nice job. Top 10 good things about being a twin. We'll be right back with Samuel L. Jackson.